Oh, it's time for the math. Easy solution term discuss further into trigonometric integrals and now look at some guidelines. Yeah, for solving uh, integrals of the form where it has 10x uh, secant x. Uh, basically, in my earlier video, I summarized the guideline for solving in integrals in the form of this, where you had integral of sine to the power of m of x times by cosine to the power of n of x dx. Yeah, where basically m and n are integers, and they're both uh, greater than or equal to 0. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. That's just what they could be. And now in this video, I'll summarize the guidelines for yeah for integrals of the form. Well, and it's a, and it's also very similar to my guidelines for this step, uh, for for this one. So basically, I'll, I'll summarize the integrals of the form integral of tan m of x. So now we have secant n of x dx, where m and n are again integers greater than or equal to zero. Yeah, and basically, uh, this is a summary from the last two examples I did on uh, solving integrals with powers uh, that are in the form of tan x secant x. Yeah, and basically, the, the, yeah, the summary for integrals of this form or the guidelines for it is shown below, and that's right here. Yeah, and the first uh, part or the first step of the strategy is if the power of secant is even, which is uh, in this case, let's say n equals 2k where k is greater than or equal to 2, then we have to put this 2 there just so it's even if it's 2. Yeah, and we just put this here, yeah, if, if you put a 2 in here, then n is 4. If you put a 3, n is 6. So it's always even. And uh, notice how k is greater than or equal to 2, because if, it's, if k equals 1, n is 2, that's just secant squared of x, and we can just uh, skip uh, that part. Yeah, and we wouldn't need to save a factor because it will already be there, and I'll get to that in a bit. Basically, if it's even, so we save a power of secant squared x and use the identity secant squared x equals 1 plus 10 squared x to express the remaining factors of t uh, in terms of tan x, and I'll explain why in a bit. So let's say we have the integral in the form of this 10 m, uh, m right here of x secant 2k of x dx equals 2, so we would separate, so first we'll just write down our 10m of x, separate secant 2k, so we would separate as secant squared, as well as writing this secant squared uh, into the power of 2k, like this, so we'll have secant 2 of x. Now this part here, is a, since we take the k out, but we're going to take a factor out. So we would subtract one power, and now we add a secant squared outside dx right here. And now the reason for this, I'll get to that soon. So we have this 10m of x. Now we apply the identity. This is 1 plus 10 squared of x. k minus 1 secant squared of x dx. Yeah, now the reason uh, for this, as you, as you can see, we have everything in terms of, well, tan, and except this uh, secant squared of x that's separated. So we have a tan in there. And then the reason is because we, then when we use substitution rule, we could use, uh, we could substitute u equals tan of x because the derivative or the differential is equal to, uh, du is equal to, yes, yeah, secant squared x dx. So this entire term is this. So this basically removes this entire secant term away from the integral. So this becomes, when we apply substitution rule, u to the power of m 1 plus u squared k minus 1 and now we have a du. So now we have an integral with just a basic uh, variable u instead of the trigonometry, uh, instead of the trig or the variable of trig uh, functions like tan and secant. And now we can just do this, and we just throw this back inside at the end. And this is an integral we can uh, usually solve. Yeah, fairly straight uh, forward at solving this. And now if we have this scenario where the power of tangent is odd, in this case, uh, we'll, we'll write m equals to 2k plus 1, where basically k is greater than or equal to 0, and it's an integer. 
just so if you put let's say zero inside m is equals to one if you put k equals to one you'll get uh, two plus one which is three and it goes one three five yeah, so let's write 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. That's what m is. Uh, and keeps going on. So this one, we would save a factor of secant x, uh, uh, tan x. This is together. I'll just uh, write this out. Yeah, so basically secant x, tan x. So we're saving this. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't type it all in there. And then we use the identity tan squared x equals secant squared x minus 1 to express the remaining factors in terms of secant x. So this is very similar to what we did in step A. So let's say we have integral in the form of tan. This is 2k plus 1 of x secant n of x dx. This equals 2. So again, we need to separate tan, tan x times secant x as well as writing this uh, as a bracket in terms of tan squared x to apply this identity. And now this would be to the power of uh, basically, yeah, this would be the power of k, and the reason is because we're going to be subtracting one power and writing that at the end. I'll get to that in a bit. So because now this is the same thing as having tan 2k, but we just want to get rid of this uh, k out, so we have this tan squared. Now we have a secant, now we subtract a power, so minus n minus 1 of x, and now we have our tan x secant x dx. So it doesn't matter if you write secant x tan x, tan x secant x, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. So that's, that's the term we get rid of, I mean we separate. We'll get rid of that in a bit. So now we apply the, um, the trig identity, so this will be secant squared of x minus 1 power of k times secant n minus 1 of x tan x secant x dx and now yeah now that we have uh, pretty much everything here is written in terms of secant squared of x uh, or just secant right here except we have a term tan x secant x now we could use the substitution rule similarly to above and write u equals secant x uh, and then the reason for this is because du or the differential is equal to secant x tan x dx and this is this entire term so this is du and once again once we apply a substitution rule we if you were to apply this in we get u squared minus 1 power of k times by u n minus 1 now we have a du so we basically get rid of this entire thing completely and we'll have a du here and we could solve this pretty straightforwardly. And now for the final step, basically if the power of secant is even and the power of tangent is odd, you could use both steps A or B, but usually step A would be easier because uh, the derivative is easier, is gonna be secant, um, derivative of tan x equals to secant squared of x, and there's just one term instead of having a tan x secant x, and it's easier dealing with it than uh, this one. Yeah, which is why that's the first step. So basically, if it's even, just e if uh, secant is even, regardless if tangent is odd, just do the step A, usually. And anyway, that's all for the uh, you learned from this uh, summary video. And uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.